Welcome to an animator's dozen. This project is an online animated short film festival made with React, Redux, and Ruby on Rails. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through the project and uh, give you a little demonstration. So at the top of the website is the story so far which you can click on and it'll give you details about why I started this project and what I'd like to do to continue it. And uh, just little details about how the user interface works. Right, and on the home page is the animators dozen, which is 13 short animated films. And I'm just going to click on one. And you can watch, play the whole film. You can do full screen. You have all the video commands. Now, these are not the final videos. This is uh, just for demonstration purposes. So we're not going to watch any of these movies. Uh, I do not have any exhibition rights to these few shorts. Um, these are just uh, embedded videos from YouTube. They are shareable and I am using them to demonstrate how my project works and the interface. So from there, we'll go on to the filmmaker Q&A. You can ask a question to a filmmaker or ask a in general question about animation. So you can go ahead and you can type in, you know, question here. It'll show up. Obviously, you're not going to really want to ask that, but we'll go ahead and uh, we'll answer one of these questions. What does Pixar use for the rendering? Renderman. Answer it, and it appears. And all of this information gets persisted to the Rails database. And if this Q&A happens to get a little too unwieldy for you, you can always uh, minimize sections, minimize questions. And uh, yeah, go from there. I'll just go ahead and ask one question. Uh, when the Oscar for best animated film this year and ask. And that's just to demonstrate that the question will show up who will ask for best animated film this year. All right. And you can also go on to some more, submit your short. And from here, we'll go ahead and Submit an embedded video that I've already copied. Um, I believe it's called Agent 327, my favorite number. And submit for consideration. And there you go. And once you submit a video, it will show up in your feed. And it's also persistent to the database as well. So the back end will have the copy of that title in your video. And that is all for now, but uh, stay tuned for more. Thank you very much for watching.